Okay, as part of my Christmas series, I wanted to show you ways to love your sprouts. And one of the ways that we can treat them in Indian cuisine is by using a spice called Pach Puran. Pach means five, Puran means spice, and all it is is a mixture of five um, seeds. Um, but it's a magical mixture because of the numbers of permutations and combinations of these five seeds. You get a multi-layered dish in terms of flavour and it becomes absolutely astonishing. So, we start with a little bit of oil in a pan. It's so simple, it's a two-minute dish. You can do it with um, either leftovers or you could do it with your fresh sprouts. Um, we then add the main head note spice, which is going to be parched for and head note spice because it's going to dictate the flavour of the dish. Pop a little bit of that in and we watch that splutter. We need to keep that on quite a low heat because we don't want it to catch and burn. There are little nuggets in there called fenugreek and they can be quite moody. In uh, the wrong heat they'll suddenly turn black and bitter, so just keep it on a low heat. And as soon as they start to go brown, you know that that particular spice is done. And so there we are. The next stage is simply a second spice, and that is chilli powder. And that's going in not to give heat, but to give flavour. Just a bit of flavour, a little bit of a smoked edge to the dish, which is quite nice. Um, as soon as that, and that really does smell good, as soon as that goes in and turns brown, we're ready for our main ingredient, which is the sprouts. So we simply stir those in, and that spiced aromatic oil is going back into the sprouts now, weaving its magic, and the last spice goes in. There are only three spices. There, there are um, the parched foreign seeds, the chilli powder, and our last spice, which is a little bit of turmeric. Turmeric gives that necessary um, layer of Indian flavouring, that earthy um, richness. And you only need a little hint. Now, these sprouts were parboiled, so this dish is essentially done. Um, we now come to the point where we've used all our spices, we think about where we want to go with our tongue. And what I find works really well with Brussels sprouts is the unexpected note of, um, of citrus. I think lemon works really, really well. So as a finishing flavour, I'm going to just put a little spot of lemon oil, uh, lemon juice, sorry, in there. Stir that in, and my uh, seasonings, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of sugar, because this way, pretty much every area of the tongue is happy. And, and also, lemon and salt and sugar just work so well. I mean, it's um, you could bottle it and sell it, couldn't you? I think, I think they have done. So, um, we think we might be done with this dish, but as a final... Um, Final addition, I'm going to just throw some salted roasted cashew nuts in, just to give the dish a bite. It's a really lazy, appalling shortcut, I know, um, but gosh, it adds so much, and it just, it, in terms of the texture contrast as well, it's kind of a bit like the sprouts and the chestnut combination, but um, a very lazy spin-off uh, of that. So, one last and it's done. I mean, we're two minutes into this dish and it's absolutely finished. Um, let's get that into a bowl and give it a little taste. The lemon juice works so well with the sprouts. It's almost um, killing the pungency. You know those sulfurous notes that you get? have gone and it's a really unexpected, pleasant, almost cleansing dish. Oh, you've got to try it.